Well, the emergency management director in Clay County wants everyone to prepare and take Ian seriously, even if we don't know its exact track. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us live. Bree, the director is talking about monitoring Black Creek. Yes, because if you remember back in 2017, that creek did have some issues during Hurricane Irma. It flooded and flooded some neighborhoods there in Black Creek. So I went down there and talked to some residents about how they're preparing for this storm. It's a beautiful place down here, but it, you know, like I said, it does flood and uh, you do have to be prepared. Tom Morris lives in Black Creek and is preparing for Ian as it makes its track toward Florida. Morris remembers the impact Hurricane Irma had on the area. I mean, this area was was devastated. There was a gosh, almost a 20 foot rise in the creek level. Morris says his home is on stilts, but in 2017, the creek flooded from Hurricane Irma and the water was up over the balcony of his home. There's still a lot of houses around here that are empty from, you know, because of Irma. We're only one of three houses on the whole street that that didn't get damaged. You can see this video we have from 2017 from Black Creek. Streets flooded with cars underwater, but the director of emergency management says Black Creek is at a lower level right now, so that's a positive going into the storm. Emergency management will keep on monitoring the creek before and as the storm hits. And hopefully uh, tomorrow in the Tuesday morning, we'll understand better of what fight we're going to have for our community, whether it's going to be a flood fight or a wind fight, uh, but really take this time and, and get prepared. Take this storm seriously. Now coming up on News for Jax at 11 more about what residents are doing to prepare and what emergency management says you should do between now and Tuesday night. I'm reporting live from Clay County, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.